Amen. Amen. Our Lord Jesus, and the power and the strength of the Spirit be with you. And with your spirit. We take just a moment as we silence, as we prepare ourselves to offer the sacred mysteries. You were sent to he heal the sorrowful and contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. And you came to call sinners, not the self-righteous. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You feed and nourish us with the body and blood, your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. For God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, we pray that we may never be wrapped in the darkness of sin and of error, but always stand in the light of your truth. We pray this through Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives with you in the Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The span of Sarah's life was 127 years. She died in Kiriath Arba, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. And Abraham performed the customary morning rites for her. Then he left the side of his dead one and addressed the Hittites. Although I am a resident alien among you, Sell me from your holdings a piece of property for a burial ground that I may bury my dead wife. After the transaction, Abraham buried his wife, Sarah, in the cave of the field of Machpelah, facing Mamre, that is Hebron, in the land of Canaan. Abraham had now reached a ripe old age, and the Lord had blessed him in every way. Abraham said to the senior servant of his household, who had charge of all his possessions, Put your hand under my thigh, and I will make you swear by the Lord, the God of heaven and the God of earth, that you will not procure a wife for my son from the daughters of the Canaanites among whom I live, but that you will go to my own land and to my kindred to get a wife for my son Isaac. The servant asked him, what if the woman is unwilling to follow me to this land? Should I then take your son back to the land from which you migrated? Never take my son back for any reason, Abraham told him. The Lord, the God of heaven, who took me from my father's house in the land of my kin, and who confirmed by oath the promise he then made to me, I will give this land to your descendants. He will send his messenger before you and you will obtain a wife for my son there. If the woman is unwilling to follow you, you will be released from this oath, but never take my son back there. A long time later, Isaac went to live in the region of the Negeb. One day toward evening, he went out in the field, and as he looked around, he noticed that camels were approaching. Rebecca too was looking about, and when she saw him, she alighted from her candle, camel and asked the servant, Who's the man out there walking through the fields towards us? That is my master, replied the servant. Then she covered herself with her veil. The servant recounted to Isaac all the things he had done. Then Isaac took Rebekah into his tent. He married her, and thus she became his wife. In his love for her, Isaac found solace after the death of his mother, Sarah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord, for he, for he is, is good. good. Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good, for his mercy endures forever. Who can tell the mighty deeds of the Lord or proclaim all his praises? Give thanks to the Lord, for he is good. Blessed are they who observe what is right, who do always what is just. Remember us, O Lord, 
as you favor your people. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for, for he is good. good. Visit me with your saving help, that I may see the prosperity of your chosen ones. Rejoice in the joy of your people and glory with your inheritance. Give, Give thanks, thanks to, to the, the Lord, Lord for, for he is good. good. Alleluia, alleluia. Alleluia, alleluia. Come to me, all who labor and are burdened, and I'll give you rest, says the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. As Jesus passed by, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the custom's post. He said to him, follow me. And he got up and followed him. While he was at the table in his house, many tax collectors and sinners came and sat with Jesus and his disciples. The Pharisees saw this and said to his disciples, why does your teacher Eat with tax collectors and sinners. He heard this and said, Those who are well do not, have, do not need a physician, but the sick do. Go and learn the meaning of these words. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. I did not come to call the righteous but sinners. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. I think uh, many of you know that at least I've tried to make my friends aware of uh, a mission that I'm very involved in, it's called Journey, Journey to New Life. And I have a friend that acted kind of like the devil's advocate and began to question me. Uh, the mission is uh, that when people come out of prison, basically they have nothing, as you probably know that, unless they have a family that's there to welcome them. The people we encounter don't. And many of them who have committed mostly crimes with drugs, etc., don't want to go back to their home or their hometown where it all began. They want to start fresh and anew. So this friend of mine playing the devil's advocate said, well, listen, he said, they made their bed, let them lie in it. Why would you help them? Um, they, they deserve what they, what they got. They, maybe, yeah, maybe they've served their time, but why would you help them? And uh, I said, well, I said, why wouldn't we? I think of the story of, of Jesus today. Matthew's a tax collector and kind of a thief, if you will, stole from the poor and filled his pockets with excess taxes and Jesus comes of all the people kind of like you know somebody comes out of prison you say would you like a job are you kidding why would you hire him so Jesus hired Matthew and people are a bit you know taken back and thinking look who he is Jesus tells us and, and helps us remind us that people deserve a second chance they deserve a chance to prove themselves, if you will. And so he calls Matthew, and then they decide to have a meal, and Matthew's friends are there, tax collectors, and people not associated with the temple of worship. 
And uh, like many of us, we say, look down, look at the people he's associating with. We call him a leader. And I think that what Jesus said reminds us something about what I think we need in our church and in our country. We forgot how to forgive. We love to hold grudges. Maybe we're all Irish, you know. I'll forgive you, but I'm not going to forget, you know. Uh, and and it's, it's something that I think we forgot. Uh, one of the people that we'd helped, I mean, they've given wonderful testimony about how they have a new life, a life that they thought they would never expect. Uh, I remember one time, and I probably told you the story, but I love it. Sister Gabriel came to me and said, uh, any way that we could buy some cakes, as one of the ladies are celebrating a birthday, and we'd like to have cakes for everyone. And there's about 20 people in the house. So we did. Uh, a couple weeks later, I received this card, and it was from the, young, the woman celebrating her birthday, 35 years old. And she thanked me. She said, uh, she said, you know, I've never had a birthday cake, and I'm 35 years old. Can you imagine? And they see new life. And Jesus saw in Matthew someone that, something that maybe the rest of them didn't see, that Matthew would become a light for Jesus and uh, help him spread the gospel. So the saying is so true for all of us. I've come to save sinners, not self-righteous. And we think of ourselves as sinners sometimes. And we come to this altar together. And Jesus has called us as well. Let us pray. For safety of those traveling these days of summer vacation, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Ask God's blessings upon the sick and the homebound, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the blessings of peace, for all who yearn for such, especially the people of Ukraine, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That God will help us to always understand the teaching of Jesus, that we too look not in judgment upon others, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Special intention for Joe Gowan and for all of our loved ones whom we remember today, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pause in silence for our own petitions. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Hear so God and bless us that what we ask in faith we may indeed receive through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Thank you. Pray, my friends, that our offering and our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, our loving Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all God's holy church. Remember priestly hands as well. For God, you graciously accomplish many blessings in our life. We pray that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. We pray this through Christ our Lord. <clears throat> the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. 
is right always and everywhere to give you praise and thanks to your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. He is the Word through whom we made the universe. He is the Savior sent to redeem us. By the power of the Holy Spirit, he took flesh and was born of the Virgin Mary. For our sake, he opened his arms on the cross. He put it into death and revealed the resurrection. And all of this, he fulfilled your will and won for you a holy people. So now with the angels and saints in heaven, we honor you once again as we proclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed, you are indeed holy, O Lord, to be glorified always, for you who love the human race and always walk with us on the journey of life. Blessed indeed is your Son present in our midst, and as once he did for the disciples, so now for us. He opens the scriptures, he breaks the bread. Therefore, loving God, we ask you to send the power of the Spirit upon these gifts of bread and wine, that the Holy Spirit may bless these gifts for us to become the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At his command, we celebrate the sacred mysteries. On the night he was betrayed, in the company of his disciples and friends, Jesus took the gift of bread. He gave you thanks and praise. He broke the bread, gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, and eat it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. When the meal was over, he took the chalice filled with wine. Again, he gave you thanks and praise. He blessed the wine. He gave it to his disciples and said, Take this, all of you, drink from it. This is the chalice of my blood the blood of the new and everlasting covenant. It will be shed for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. The mystery of our faith, Christ. Christ is risen. Christ will come again. Therefore, loving God, we celebrate the memorial of Christ, your Son, our Savior, and we led through the passion and death on the cross to the glory of the resurrection is now seated at your right hand. And we proclaim the work of your love until he comes again, as we offer you once again the bread of life and the cup of salvation. Look with favor on the offering of your church in which we show forth once again the paschal sacrifice of Christ handed on to us. And granted by the power of the Holy Spirit, may we be counted now and forever as members of your Son, in whom we share Holy Communion. You've called us again to your table, Lord. Confirm us in unity and peace, that together with our shepherd and Pope Francis, our Bishop James, and all who minister in the church and all your people, may we walk your ways with faith and hope and bring joy and trust into our world. Remember now, Lord, we pray, our loved ones who have gone before us, who have fallen asleep in the peace of Christ, and all the dead, his faith is known to you alone. We pray, God, welcome them into the peace of your heavenly kingdom. Grant also to us, when our earthly pilgrimage is complete, that we may come to an eternal dwelling place to live with you forever. In communion with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, St. Joseph, and all the saints, with them we will praise and honor you through your Son, Jesus, through whom you give us everything that is good. Through him, with him, in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor are yours forever and ever. Amen. For the coming of the kingdom, we pray now, as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father. Father who art in heaven, hallowed, hallowed be thy, thy name. name. Thy kingdom, kingdom come, come, thy will, be, will done. be done, on earth, on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give, Give us today us our daily bread. bread. Forgive us our trespasses. trespasses. Yes, we as we forgive, forgive those who trespass, who trespass against, against us. us. And, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from every evil. 
Grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin. Protect us from needless anxiety as we wait in joyful hope for the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. O Lord Jesus, you said your apostles, you give to them the gift of peace. Look not on our sins. With the faith we express, and grant to us the peace and unity of your kingdom, where you live forever and ever. Amen. And the peace of the risen Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And we share a gesture of peace with each other. Peace. Bless you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sin of the world. How blessed are we to be invited to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. May the body and blood of our Lord Jesus bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
Let us pray. We thank you, O Lord, that you've called us to stay as you called Matthew, and you found us, find us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. We pray and thank thanksgiving for the gift of the Eucharist to strengthen in our, on our journey, the journey to live the gospel. We pray this through Christ, O oh Lord. Amen. And the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless us, the Father, the Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace now to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. Uh, have a nice day.